Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another indie horror game. This is dinner time, and wow, we're just gonna we're just we're just gonna get into that because that 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 chainsaw was was drilling in my ears. Um, apparently, well, we're already starting. Here we go. Thirteenth of January, twenty thirteen. I was fourteen at the time. The text is going very slow. My parents went on holiday. So, I had to stay with my grandfather, Jesus. It's, it's really slow. As a going away gift. What, so I had to stay with him as a going away gift, or? Okay. My parents gave me a cam recorder. It's, this is that story. I feel this is going to be a janky game. Right. Day one, unpacking. We're in control. I had to knock on the door. Well, that text was going quicker. Why couldn't the original text before go quicker? So I'm recording me. I had to knock on the door. So we're not, okay. So I'm staying with granddads. Grandpapa. And why does this house look like it's boarded up? I mean, the title screen has already given this away, I think. He took a while to answer, as he was old. Hey, we're gonna get there, my hips- Oh, the door's open, but no one's here. So how did the door open? Is he- is he lurking behind the, the door here? Grandpapa? Are you home? Alright, I guess no one's in then. Oh no! <laughs> Well, he was really quick. He was a bit nimble on the feet there, Gramps. Hey, what are you doing here? Grandpa, it's me. You are grandson. Yeah, I know. My least favorite one. Well, Jesus Christ. Oh, anyways, Mum and Dad said I could stay because they're going on holiday. Ugh, whatever, grandson. Just bring your stuff. Okie dokie. I had to I had to bring my box from outside into my bedroom. So hang on. Let's just for one moment here, just just marinate in what's to, This is your home, right? And I and you got the a massive couch. Look at this couch. I mean, you've kind of fallen into it, but like your ass doesn't even and you disappear. Okay. It's I said this was gonna be a janky game. This is a janky game. I mean, there's the, the seating ratio to a, a giant's cut. Is Gandalf coming to tea? What the hell, man? And then you're sitting there, this is your living room, and there's no TV, there's nothing. There's just a couch, a nice sort of Turkish rug. That's nice, but nothing. You're just staring at the kitchen. Okay. Fine. We're, we're gonna we're gonna spend our weekend with Grandpapa. get our box of whatever this might be. It's only a weekend. You just had to bring your bag, right? Mum and Dad are only going away for a couple of days. And there seems to be a red light emanating from this corner here, so... Oh, I see. There was something off about the basement. Yes, the fact that there was door no doorknob and some red light was emanated from underneath. I wonder. I perchance wonder... That was Grandpa's room, and he bamfed into there, like Nightcrawler. Oh, we do have some... My room was down a creepy hallway. I don't think this is that creepy. At least there's some pictures here. I'm assuming this is the dev. There's no other decorations in this house. Okay, that was the bathroom. This would be my room, and my box just mysteriously disappeared as well. After I'm packed, I decided to go to bed. Because there was nothing else to do in my room. There was just the bed. I slept for about two to three hours. When Grandpa shouted from the kitchen. Dinner is ready. Me being hungry, jumped out of bed. But something was wrong with the dinner. Really wrong. Time to eat dinner. 
I guess there's nothing else much else to do here. Close the door. Let's close the door. We weren't born in a barn. So Grandpa has the grace of a gazelle. He can teleport from room to room. Oh, and we just... we Wow, maybe it's a genetic thing. Maybe Because I just teleported from where I was standing. I had to eat it. Did I? Hey, Grandpa! All the way down there! Could you pass the salt? It's a good bit of steak. Looks good. Yummy. It was crunchy. I don't think steak's meant to be crunchy. I need... To, okay, I need to talk to him. I mean... Grandpops, let's be serious here. If you're in the midst of being evicted from this house, I totally understand. And that's probably why you didn't want your least favorite grandson to arrive. But I'm here to tell you, it's okay. Even men cry, Grandpops. Even men cry. Yes? Grandpa, why does the food taste weird? We were running low on meat, so uh, never mind. Okay, I'm going to bed. Night. Night. I decided to go back to bed. So, can I see what's in the fridge? No. Ordered up windows? Okay. We can sort of run? I highly doubt there's inventory. Oh, he's disappeared again. Maybe he's a magician. Maybe he's just full of the magic. Where's my box of things? Later that night, or later the night. <coughs> yes, let's investigate the noises. Is my door again? No, still can't go in the bathroom. Still can't go in grandfather's house. Oh, grandfather. What have you been up to? What have you been up to? You scoundrel. Listen, if you didn't really want me here because you were having company over, I totally understand that. But if you're being evicted and you're having company over and you've locked them in the basement now, then we've got to have words. Grandpa? Yes? What was that sound? Well, it sounded like someone screaming to me with a dull thump or thud. I just got some steak from the grocery store. Where is it? In the basement freezer. Can I see it? No, don't ever say that again, boy! Because I was querying where he keeps his food stuff? Day two. Wow. One day left of the weekend, I'm assuming. Time to eat dinner again. What have I been doing with my whole day? Just walking around this vacuous house full of nothing? Right. Is Grandpa there? Gra no? Okay. I had to eat it. Alright, Grandfather's giving me ketchup this time. Yum, yum, yum. It was raw. Didn't look raw. Gra okay, Grandpa didn't come up that night. He was too busy doing something in the basement. Hmm. I had to take out the trash at... Okay. Now it's not even letting me... It, from going from really slow text to text that I can't even read. And here's the trash. Because what trash could we accumulate? And why does the trash sound like squidgy style? Alright. Uh, the bin was over here. I think I might go to a neighbor. Time for bed. No. No, I think I might go to a neighbor. And say that something's not quite right. Of course the port... No, invisible walls block me from doing so. Of course they do. Of course they do. Can I just leave? Can I just leave? I kind of want to ex explore the rest of the area here, but I'm thinking that there's going to be an invisible wall turning up very soon. Yes, there it is. Just as I suspected. So we spent the whole day doing nothing, ate some raw steak, and took out the trash. That's how I spent my weekends. Don't know about you guys. Day three. Ah, oh, just when you thought there was some time left, another scream. I had to find out what was going on. Close the door. Can we... No, 
I know it's the bathroom. That was Grandpa's. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's blood leading out of the house, and the door has been broken down. I mean, does that mean he killed someone at the front door and dragged them into the basement? Let's find out. Ah, uh, this is where the red light. So there you go guys, that was dinner time. Um, not really much to say about that one. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was, um, that was pretty bad. If this was like the developer's first game, I can understand some experimentation. Um, but when you have the main title screen with the grandfather chainsawing someone up, it kind of leaves little to the imagination of what's about to happen. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, like or dislike the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.